Welcome to Lifestyle, Education, Activity, Nutrition, your guide to better health. Good morning, Lean Team members. Today we're going to work on shoulders. There's no better way to begin the morning. The time you spend today will pay dividends for years to come. Even though you may feel sore right now, this will soon fade and you'll start to look forward to this time we spend together. Many people are under the mistaken impression that getting lean takes hours in the gym every day. I've used the Get Lean workout philosophy for the past 16 years. It's miles ahead of anything else on the market. I use it successfully to train many gold medal Olympians and world class athletes. And it takes a lot less time than you think. Remember, the USANA Lean Team program is a multifaceted system including the USANA Lean Formula, the Psychology of Living Lean audio cassettes, and the Get Lean video series. For best results, learn and use each item. You're so right, Nancy. I'm constantly amazed when I see people working out for endless hours and achieving nothing for their efforts. Working out is a science, not a casual activity. The Get Lean program takes advantage of this science to give you an optimum workout in only 30 minutes, four days a week. Now, when was the last time you tried a program that simple? It's the most important 30 minutes of your day. Not only will you build muscle and lose fat, but you will also enjoy increased energy, productivity, and mental clarity throughout the day. This is your third workout and you're feeling great, right? Well, you know the importance of a warm-up. And this is the first part of developing shapely shoulders. So let's get started. March in place and pump up and down. Keep your abs in nice and tight, stand nice and tall. Don't add resistance. You're going to have plenty of that later on. Keep it nice and smooth. And smile. You're ready for the day, aren't you? Step tap to your right and to your left. Alternate circles backward, right and left. That's it. Make it nice and long, make it nice and big, and reach for the sky. That's a hint. Four more. Let's take it from the very beginning. March it out and punch. Four more. Step tap, right left. Reach out. Opening up the joints, limbering the muscles and tendons. March it out. Step tap, right here. So how does your teammate feel standing next to you? March it out. You motivating each other? Step tap. Tap to the front, alternate. That's it, now the arms. Come up to shoulder height and back down, nice and loosely. Here we go, up and down. And when you feel familiar with the exercise and you feel real good and confident, shake it out. And that should be right now. You made that great step. Alternate tap, right, left. Circle in, reach out and pull in, alternating those arms. Stand nice and tall, come on. Inhale and exhale. Alternate taps to the front, arms up. Alternate tap, reach. Four more. Reach and pull like a dream. Alternate tap for four. And alternate tap to the side. March it out and punch. Putting it all together, step tap. You can assimilate this as reaching for the sky. Alternate to the front. Are you breaking that sweat? To the side? That's good. We want to get a fat burning body. March it out. Step tap. You're doing great. You're doing great. It's first step right here. Alternate. First step, your warm up. Now to the side, reach. One more time from the very beginning, march and reach. Step tap. Feel the muscles loosen up. Alternate to the front. Alternate side. Yes, and I'd like you to hold your lunges left, right. That's it. Alternate your shoulders back, loosening up. One side at a time. Raise your left elbow up. 
And now rotate back. That's it. Elbow up and back. This is called a lateral raise and a rotation. One more time. Last time, take it to the center. Roll both shoulders back. That's it. You can get into the music, kind of bop if you'd like. Over to the right side, lateral raise, rotation. Try and keep your shoulders right to the front. Two more. Last one. Hold to the center, take your left arm to the front. Reach behind the elbow, pull in, relax your shoulder, and feel the stretch in the back of the shoulder. One of the exercises we'll be doing today. Palm down, bend, and stretch it out just a little bit more. Remember, the shoulder stays down. Now pivot to the left, bring your hands behind your back, elbow squeezes, forearms away from the body. Shoulders are square, so stretch the front of the shoulders. And relax, bring it to the front, right arm. Reach behind the elbow joint, pull it on in, keep the shoulder down. Palm down, bend at the elbow, and stretch it just a little bit deeper to the back of the shoulder. Release, take it to the right side, a little bit different. Palms are facing down and parallel to the floor. Elbows are shoulder height. Rotate at the shoulder joint, palms come parallel to the wall. You feel that stretch right in here? Hold that stretch. Now release. Come to the front. Take a big deep breath in. Inhale. Get the oxygen in and exhale out all the stress for the day. Exhale. Roll it on up. And this is great. We're ready to start you on your way to shapely shoulders. Most activities tend to develop the front deltoids and chest muscles drawing your shoulders forward, which gives you a round shoulder posture that gets worse as people age. We've developed a unique combination of exercises to strengthen the rear shoulders and upper back to draw your shoulders back to the erect posture of youth, vitality, and confidence. For both men and women, developing strong, sexy shoulders also gives you that V-line taper to the waist. For this first group of exercises, you'll be standing with your dumbbells. For the second group, you'll also need a chair. Starting with the moderate set, step forward to pick up your weights, bend down, keep the abs in nice and tight, using your legs, stand up nice and tall. Place your feet hips width apart. Give yourself a pelvic tilt and keep the abs in nice and tight to protect the lower back. Chest is lifted, shoulders are back and down throughout the whole exercise, and head is in alignment with your spine. The first exercise, your palms are facing your thighs with a slight bend at the elbow. Raise the elbows just about shoulder height and a little extra kick. Rotate at the shoulder a little bit more, just as if you're pouring a glass of water out. Lowering down from the shoulder joint only, bring the elbows back to your side. Let's pick it up. Lift, lift, and lower. Lift, lift, and lower. So there's an extra lift in this exercise. It's a combination called a lateral raise. This exercise is designed to give you nice shapely shoulders, yes, but also to help strengthen the shoulder area. To use the front of the shoulders a lot along with the chest, bending forward, working on the computer, picking things up. This exercise will help pull those shoulders back. Give yourself a nice line in your posture. Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Keep those abs in nice and tight. Don't forget to stand nice and tall. Two more. Lift. One more, then we'll move on to the next superset exercise. Lower down, palms neutral, underneath your shoulders. Raise the shoulder up, back, and down. Palms to the front, raise the elbows up to just about shoulder height again, squeezing the shoulder blades together, and lower down. We'll pick this up just a little faster. Here we go up, back and down, and raise it up and lower. Great, shoulder shrug, and upright row. Try not to, right here, shrug the shoulders up to the ears. Keep it in nice alignment where the shoulders stay down and relaxed. This is another exercise to help pull those shoulders back. That's it. You're doing great. I can feel those muscles work, 
How about you? Remember to contract at the top and keep those abs in nice and tight for proper alignment. One more time and then you can rest. <laughs> and rest. Step forward, lower your weights, come back to standing position. Shake it out. You've just taken your first step toward LEAN. L-E-A-N is an acronym for lifestyle, education, activity, and nutrition. The four keys to success with USANA. Let's go to the heavy set. Now, be careful here. Step forward, grab your weight, abs in tight, use your legs to stand nice and tall. Step back into proper alignment, but remember pelvic tilt, abs in nice and tight. Elbows bent slightly, we'll take four counts up and four counts down, lateral raise. Let's go up, two, three, and four, and down. Moving only at the shoulder joint. There's no swinging, no swaying, no momentum. Just pure strength. We have four more. Lift. How you doing, okay? Just get through these. You'll do it. Keep the abs nice and tight. Stand nice and tall. Last one. Now let's do the upright row. Four counts up and four counts down. Again, keep those shoulders down and relaxed. Yeah. Woo. Feels good, doesn't it? I know you can do it. If there's any point where you feel you can't finish, stop the exercise and just resume when the discomfort goes away. Four more. Lift. You can squeeze the shoulder blades at the top as well. Give you that nice line of confidence. Last one. Ooh. And lower. Step forward and rest. Don't you feel good? You look good. If you're working out in a gym, take your USANA Lean Activity Guide. Following the pictures, you can do the same workout there. You ready for the last set? Step forward, take your lightest weight. Again, using your legs, keep the abs nice and tight. Stand back into proper alignment. Just a reminder, pelvic tilt, abs in tight. Bend at the elbows. We'll do 10 combination and 10 regular lateral raise. Up, lift, and lower. Now the weight might seem to be too light at this point, but we're doing high repetitions. So eventually you might feel a little fatigued toward the end, but you can push through that. This is the endurance set. This is where you'll get that nice shape to the shoulders. That's it, take it up. Try and stay in control throughout the whole exercise, especially on the way down. There may be a tendency for you just to flop your arms down, but you're still working your shoulders even when you come down. Now straight on, up and down. That's it. Try and get to the same point that you were with that extra lift when you poured that water. <laughs> Speaking of water, if you feel a little thirsty, grab your water. Take a sip. Stay hydrated. Two more. And hold. Upright row, palms are facing downward. Combination, shoulder shrug. And upright row, lift. That's it, shoulder shrug. Now you wonder why you're doing the shoulder shrug? It's to strengthen the neck. And also works a little of the back in there. Pulls the shoulders back, especially when you focus on the backward movement. Keep the abs in nice and tight. We have only four more of these, and we'll go right into just show, um, upright rows. Yeah. Straight up and down, upright row. Whew, how are you feeling? You feel pretty good, right? You're saying to yourself, oh, this feels great. I'm going to finish it. I want my fat-burning body. We all do. That sounds pretty good, huh? Fat-burning body. Two more. Last one. And rest. Step forward. Bring the weights down. Come back to neutral alignment. You did a great job. Let's move on to the second group of exercises. How do you feel? Are you more aware of pulling your shoulders back? 
You know, shoulders are one area where you will see quick changes with the USANA Get Lean program. We'll be continuing the same repetition format. It's important to complete all the reps and sets, even if you have to use lighter weights. Now get your chair and let's take the next step towards mean, lean, sexy shoulders. Starting with a moderate set, place your heels underneath your knees and sit at the edge of your chair. Keep your abdominals in very tight when picking up your weights. Bend forward from your hips, grab your weights, squeeze the abdominals and sit up nice and tall. Forearms are up, palms are facing front and elbows are at your side. Straighten your arms above your head, rotating at the shoulder where the palms meet. Bring it back down to your side in the starting position. Ready? Let's try that. Take it up and down, up and down. Now, keep the abdominals in nice and tight so the torso stays stable. Otherwise, you may rock back and forth and use momentum or other muscle groups. This particular exercise is called a full overhead press, working the tricep as well as the shoulder. Last one, rest. Lean forward from the hips again. Keep the back straight, shoulders back and down. Palms are facing back just underneath the shoulders. Raise your elbows up and out, squeezing the back of the arm and the back of the shoulder. Squeeze, lifting the elbows up, lower down. And we'll take that at a faster pace. Lift it on up. Up, squeeze together, slowly lower down. Yeah. Up, squeeze, in, squeeze, and down. These exercises are designed not only to help create nice, shapely shoulders, but also to help with your posture, giving you a look of confidence, pulling those shoulders back. We all like to have that. Lift, squeeze. Now, when you squeeze, bringing the elbows in, Pull the shoulders back and downward. All right? Lift. You're doing a great job. Keep that back straight. Try not to buckle up at the shoulders. Last one. Drop the weights. Place your hands onto your thighs. Sit on up and rest. Ounce by ounce, you're getting leaner and leaner. Remember, it's not about losing, it's about winning. Winning a lean, healthy body for life with USANA. Move on to the heavy set. Bend forward from your hips, abs in nice and tight. Reach for your heavy set, sit up nice and tall. Bring your arms in so that they're facing each other. Dumbbells are shoulder level. This is a little bit different. I'm going to raise halfway up where the elbows are lifted and also toward the back of the room. Bring them back in to shoulder level. Let's try that again. Slowly up and squeeze. Elbows are back. Bring it back down so that the sh dumbbells are shoulder level. Four up, four, three, two, and one, and down. Back to that level right here. The forearms are staying real close to the upper arm. That's it. Another tip. If you see the weights in your peripheral view, you need to come a little bit higher with the weights and also to squeeze the elbows back, really working that shoulder. Last one. And rest. Sit forward, keep those abs in nice and tight. This is the heavy weight, so you really need to protect your lower back in this position. Palms are facing back, just a back lateral raise. Straight up for four, three, two, and squeeze, and lower down. Lift, two, three, and squeeze. The slow count is so that we can keep everything in control, focusing on the muscle group we wanna work, which is the back of the shoulder called the rear deltoid. Down, pull it back, lift the shoulders. Keep the chest lifted. Last one. Woo! And rest. Place the weights down on the ground. Place your hands on your thighs. Roll on up and rest. Shake it out. You didn't think you could do that, did you? Well, you can. 
Take time to review your program guide to learn how every part of the USANA Lean program works together. Last set, it's the light set. Bend forward from your hips. Sit on up, keep the abdominals in nice and tight. We're gonna go 10 combination and 10 straight on, which is just the regular overhead press. Ready? Palms facing front. Here we go. Lift back to the side. Don't forget to rotate the shoulder or at the shoulder joint where the palms meet. Lift. Try not to swing that body. Keep the abs in nice and tight. The weights may be light, but concentrate on just the muscle. Last one, and now let's just go halfway up. Bring the elbows back. The weights remain shoulder height when you lower. Yes. Ooh, this you really feel. Solely works the outside of that shoulder. Yes. Breathe. Ooh, you're doing good. Last one. Ah, lean forward. Keep those abs in nice and tight. Remember, 10 combination. Lateral raise. Ready? Reach out and back. Pull in, slowly lower. Pull out and back, lift. Out and up, squeeze, lower. Out and back, lift, lower. There's an extra squeeze right here to help with strengthening the upper back as well as the back of the arm. Great, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift. One more. Now let's do the lateral raise up and down, squeeze. You might feel a little on the fatigue side. Well, you'll lose your form if you do so. Please stop the exercise. Resume when that uncomfortable feeling goes away. We want you to keep proper form throughout the whole exercise. Last one and rest. Place your hands on your thighs and you did an excellent job. How do you feel, huh? Mmm, looks nice. Today we'll be working the upper fibers of the abdominals, that part just under the rib cage. Once you get these muscles conditioned, you'll find your abs won't be flat just when you're lying on the floor. They'll stay flat when you're standing up. So get your mat and prepare to lose that pooch. Lie down. Place your heels a comfortable distance from your hips. Give yourself a pelvic tilt by contracting the lower portion of the abdomen. Contract the ribcage downward, lifting the shoulders off the floor. Place your fingertips behind your ears. Keep your chin lifted by looking over the top of your knees. We'll start off with something called a four count crunch. First, squeeze the navel in toward your spine. Raise the torso up. Now just raise it a little higher. Lower down, keeping the shoulders off the floor. Let's go. Squeeze, lift, lift, and lower. Remember to keep the shoulder blades off the floor. Squeeze, lift, lift, and lower. Now the second lift right here works in the lower portion of the abdomen. Squeeze, up, and lower. The best time to breathe on this exercise would be as we lift. Exhale. Breathe. This will help give you that flattened look in the abdomen, which is nice to have, but it's also very good to strengthen the abdomen for a healthier lower back, strengthen your torso for everyday activities, so you fatigue less. Squeeze. Last one. Now lower all the way down, release the rib cage, lift your chest up toward the ceiling, Look about two feet in front of you, squeezing the abdominal muscles right underneath the rib cage, and lower back down so the shoulders come to the floor. That's the difference. Let's try that at tempo. Lift, lower. Now the lower back stays in contact with the floor completely throughout the exercise. Avoid on the way down, arching and lifting the back off the floor. Form is the key. Exhale, don't forget to exhale. Very important to breathe. 
four more. Four, three, keep your elbows in your peripheral vision. Hold it up here, now pulse, up. Now pulsing is a small movement. The muscle is already contracted. You're just challenging that muscle group by pushing yourself upward, upward, and squeeze. Five, six, now hold it up here, four count crunch, lift. Lift, lower halfway, the shoulder blades still stay off the floor during the four count crunch. Two more, breathe, lift, lift. Now one more, when you finish, bring the shoulders all the way to the floor, upper fiber crunch, lift. Now avoid hyperextending at the neck. Keep the chin in alignment with your spine. Breathe, breathe. One more, hold it up, now let's pulse. It's a very small movement, and it's a killer. Whew. Very important to breathe. Breathe, make it small, no jerky movements. Control, control. Now hold it up, take it, four count crunch. Two, three, and lower, again, squeeze. Lift, again, squeeze, lift, breathe. One more, then lower the shoulders again, all the way to the floor, upper fiber crunch. Keep the elbows in that peripheral view. Do you feel that? How you doing? You're doing great. It's not easy, but hold it up here and pulse. It's a good thing to work towards something that's a little challenging, right? Eight more counts. I'm smiling, but it's not, I'm feeling it. Now hold, four count crunch. Lift, lift, and lower, one more. All the way down, upper fiber crunch. I'm trained to smile. <laughs> and breathe, hold it here, pulse it, lift. Hold, and down. Hold and down, hold and down, hold and relax. You did a great job. I want you to prepare for you cool down. After such a great workout, you deserve a little dessert, a cool down and stretch. Stretching is an important part of a complete fitness program because it increases the range of motion and flexibility of your muscles, which helps prevent injury. This is one reason never to skip dessert. Roll on your sides and gracefully come up. Sit Indian style and nice and tall. Take your right arm out, reach behind the elbow joint, pull in towards your chest, lower your shoulder down. And now resist against the stretch against your hand by pulling out. And as you release, slowly bring in a little bit further. Resist one more time. And as you release, pull in just a little bit deeper, palm down, bend at the elbow, and stretch. Shoulder comes down. This is stretching the back of the shoulder, which you've worked very well. What you contract, you must stretch out. Release the entire stretch up, out, and down. Again, up, out. Bring your head over to the left side and roll the shoulders back. Nice and slow, take your time. This is dessert and you deserve it. Calorie free. Bring your head to the center, take your left arm, behind the elbow joint, bring it in towards your chest, drop that shoulder down. Resist against the stretch, press into your hand. Slowly release, pulling in. Resist one more time. And pull in. Palm down. Bend at the elbows. Over the shoulder. Stretch the back of that shoulder out. Release the entire stretch. Take it up. Out. And down. Up. Out. Tilt your head over to the right. Roll the shoulder back. Nice and slow. You know you deserve this. 
did a great job. Bring your head to the center. Both hands behind the back. Squeeze the elbows together. Forearms away from the body. Lift the chest up, stretching the front of the shoulders. Chest. And release. Roll both shoulders up, back, and down. Two more. How you feel? Deep breath in right here. Inhale. In with the good air. Out with the bad. Fingertips to the front. Walk yourselves out till you feel a stretch in the lower back and in the hips. Squeeze the navel in, rounding out the back. Release, walk your hands in. Another deep breath in. Stress out. You finished your 30 minute activity program for the day. Good job. Congratulations, you're doing great. With persistence and dedication, we're going to travel this road together, one baby step at a time. You're on your way to our USANA lean, fat-burning body. By the time you've run through this program three or four times, you'll come to think of this time we spend together as the best part of your day. Put yourself first for this 30 minutes. Make it your top priority on your to-do list. And don't let anything get in the way, even if you have to take the phone off the hook. We're proud to have you as part of our team. Not just for today, but for the years to come. See you tomorrow for ARMS.